Flight 370 exposed one major gap in air security, the widespread lack of passport screening by most countries. Two passengers on board were traveling on stolen passports. That's now prompted the U.S. to add screening for all passengers leaving the country. Here's Mark Albert. The U.S. screens air travelers through many databases, looking for terrorists, wanted criminals, and more. Their passports are also screened through Interpol's Stolen and Lost Travel Documents database. But until now, only for incoming passengers, not those leaving. Now the documents of all departing passengers will be checked to make sure they're not fraudulent. The change came to light Friday during a congressional hearing. John Wagner from Customs and Border Protection told Texas Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee his agency started screening passports of departing flyers after Flight 370 disappeared. So will you continue? Absolutely. Ensuring people are properly credentialed and we know who they are is, is a key piece of that. You know, see you. Andrew Farrelly uh, is a former director of tracking border. programs right. at Customs and Border Protection. Will adding this database make passengers safer? I think that, you know, coupled with this information and the new uh, abilities to act on that information definitely makes air travel a lot safer. Farrelly says CBP debated making the change for years but did not have enough staff or resources to track down all the passports that might be flagged. There were other priorities that uh, required attention, particularly on outbound. This event, the, you know, this, the, this tragic event of the Malaysia flight, really does um, offer some highlights to, to things that you can do better. Protection tells CBS... Customs and Border Protection tells CBS News the new passport screening happens behind the scenes and shouldn't delay outgoing international flights. Jeff? Mark Elbert, thank you.